Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where you can play, practice game design, and watch games. Before we start, I have a confession. I started the monster plague. What? There Wait, you go. what? There you go. Wait, what? You? He's the main so antagonist. Just kidding. But I do know what's causing it. <laughs> you Kill fell him. for it. Kill him. <laughs> I love the look on his face. <laughs> Well, mostly. That's where you come in. If you're serious, I'm happy to help however I can. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Ready, Jelly? He's going Club to judge? Club. How does he eat? Probably with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Jelly says he'd die for some fire and earth, so let's serve it up. <laughs> Get it? Die? Because he's dead? Because necromancer. King bean. Ooh, get that king bean. Get that king king bean. <laughs> I love it. Noise. <laughs> I hold by my feelings on those guys. <laughs> They're pretty glorious. I have not changed opinions. <laughs> Give me this. I mean, like, Ziggy is pretty mysterious. So it is believable that he could be an antagonist, and like, necromancers are traditionally bad guys. So this is a good joke. That's, that's the point. That's a good joke. It's a funny joke. Funny joke. But, you know, I'm happy that he's not the main antagonist, except maybe he still is, because who really knows? <laughs> I mean, you're pretty glorious. I still like our theory that he's from the future. Uh, it's it's not a theory. It's true. I mean, it's like 90% sure <laughs> that it's true. I mean, like, easier to prove it right than to prove it wrong. Right? Huh? Not. Don't. Really. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably everyone else's attitude. <laughs> hey, dude, no. Dude! Wow! Dick! That's fine. There's a lot better than that. That is sort of the uh, the interesting thing about the birds is that while you can utilize them to make sauces, or at least you know combine them with ingredients to get new ingredients, uh, it can also hurt you if you oh. let them get away with it. Which is like, and him too. <clears throat> oh damn, dick. And I, I, in a way, it, it makes sense because Water. in a more traditional design. Um, I feel like the enemies that would steal your items would generally just, like, be a hindrance rather than part of the, um, like, you know, the, the combo system of how you get certain ingredients. Um, so seeing them act as a hindrance, I think, is appropriate. Yeah, I mean, there should be, shouldn't just be, like, purely aiding you at the same time. Uh, it, it is cool to see it, like, actually hit backfire. Mm-hmm. They are making King Bean grow up, like, grow back a lot. Better. Wow. That was impressive. He, like, caught the He tomato. wanted that. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Boom. <laughs> Alright, we probably, probably need to get some more fire going on. So the, the... The evil stuff definitely makes some of them faster. I yeah, it makes them faster. It makes it makes I it might make them have more health. I think you're right about that. I don't know if it does more damage because the damage tends to be like a take damage or not kind of deal. Mm. We haven't talked too much about how ingredients respawn in this game. Is it like do you do they respawn after they're off screen, or is there like a, a duration for them to respawn? Like if you just st if you take a, a king bean. And if you just stand there, what would happen? Would it never respawn? Well, I there was one creature that spawned on screen that like that was I was like, whoa, I've never seen that before. So I think there there is something to that where usually that's not going to be the case. Yeah, I mean, uh, based on the game mechanics alone, the likelihood of you staying still for long enough to see a respawn work is pretty slim, but it could still happen. Um, I don't know. Boom. This could be glorious. That's one of those things that's 
never really so obvious on what the right answer is, too. Um, and I think that's why it, it kind of comes to mind. Um, because, like, old school games, they would generally spawn things when they, once they were off screen, just simply due to um, memory management. Mm -hmm. um, and then later games, um, depending on what genre you're looking at, would base it off of timers or you know, or, or otherwise, mm -hmm. um, in a lot of cases, they would stop using spawners and just, you know, have a static amount of uh, characters or, or items or monsters that will ever spawn ever. Mm -hmm. um, and that was just because they actually could remember that in the memory. Um, in this case, I don't think there is a clear answer. I think just about anything would work. I think it's more of a question of what would be most susceptible to abuse. So like, say you wanted a king bean, and or you wanted like a ton of king beans. Um, if it always respawned after it was off screen and then you moved it back on screen, it could run into the problem of it, um, the player like, kind of moving, ooh, I didn't get in time. so close. But you could run into the problem of like, you running just a little off screen and then running back and just harvesting that one item over and over again. So there's Whereas, definitely a time issue included mm -hmm. into that. I love that he, he does fast food and it's just so weird. You know, honestly, I would eat that. That I looks mean, yeah. kind of good. I, the likes, maybe, but yeah, I, I'd probably give it a try. You know, frog legs, though, I feel like if it were chicken legs or like... Bug blood. Even pig's legs or pig's feet... That would freak me out more than frogs' legs. Like, there's enough of a disconnect. Yeah. Like, frogs are kind of like. Did I actually fish, even it out? One, two, almost. three. One, two, three, four. Oh, so close. If I was able to, if I had time to max this fires, it would have been even. I kind of want to try frog legs someday. <laughs> it tastes kind of like chicken, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. So neither of us actually hit the prerequisite. Oh, really? Yeah, but I just got more combos on the screen. Was the prerequisite just to have enough king beans? It was uh, no, no. It was it was just include king bean into the dish and then just fire and earth. But I had one more. I had four earth gems and three fire gems. Oh, so they needed to be even. I see. And so I like tried to sauce it up. Like that was my like last second. Like bam, sauce. Now we're even. And I was like one off. Womp womp. This isn't a real blight. It's man made. What? Who would do something that horrible? Also, how'd you figure that out? <laughs> Who indeed? Hmm. On purpose, it would be too much for most people to stomach. But covering up an accident? That's a little easier on the conscience. But there's only one way to find out. Breaking into the brigade's research lab. What? Do you want to be imprisoned? How can you think it's their fault with how hard they're trying to fight it? I started with some scraps of information from this body I'm possessing. <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's normal. <laughs> you ready? But once I showed up here, solving this problem turned out to be a lot more complicated than I hoped. Ziggy, if you're just going to keep making jokes, I've got to get back to town. People's lives are at stake. But I'm not joking. This is the real meaning. And this is why Ziggy's my favorite. So like, was the body he possessing a dead body? He's it's that's what it looks like. Just take when away it's... the ghostly apparition around mm. it, and that's just the body that he inhabited. Which means he's been dead for a while. I mean, that's kind of cool. It's better than it being like some poor living dude that's being possessed. And he's like, yeah, I mean, I'm wearing out most of his life. By the time he comes back to, it's he's, he's gonna, gonna be, be like eighty. And, yeah. It's like, oh, that's so sad. That like that w would be a more defining feature of a villain. This is like, well, creepy, but like, he still is arguably a good guy. Yeah. Uh, so it's, there's also a couple of things, maybe like we can tie it into our theory. Uh, so he's, he's a lich, I guess, technically. Yeah. Like he's possessing the body, which means he is a ghost himself, not only a necromancer or something like that. I mean, Indeed, the lich he is... just said he got pieces of information from the body. So right. So this body has died because of the blight oh like it knows something or maybe it worked in the brigade and it was killed him uh, yeah i figured it was like written <clears throat> information but that also makes sense mm -hmm. hmm. Stop playing around. 
I feel like the devs of this game have the same love for necromancers that you and I do. They they just might. <laughs> into the lab, but I can't bring the information I find to the brigade. They don't trust me, but you, I know how determined you are to get to the bottom of this. You're not just in it for the tournament reinstate me. Help me end this. I don't know what to make of your stories, mm. but I do want to put an end to the outbreak. To be honest, I've been meeting with Kieran and Thrash about it already. She's working on a cure. A cure? Well, that would be interesting. So what do you say? After you get the information, come find us. I'm against the break-in, but this is too serious to ignore. All right, Hamburger, and don't worry, I'll be silent as a snake. I can't tell if I'm more unsettled by Ziggy's transformation or the thought that someone in the brigade is at fault. The first one, definitely the first one. <laughs> <laughs> like I, that would that will never leave your dreams. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I saw an animated corpse. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to uh, go to so sleep ever again. about it. I mean, that seems pretty in line with Ziggy's character, though. Well, yeah, and well, the thing too is, he's like, I'm not proud of the things I did to get here. What things? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What have you done? But yeah, so that's the only thing. It's like you look and you're like, how does that fit into the theory that he's from the future? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's it's interesting. around the screen it feels like the music is louder than the VO yes Maybe that's just me I like I've gone and watched some episodes and I was like it was really quiet yay so because of that technically so the tournament's just restarted no it's not restarted it continues but now you're not expelled until after five losses, mm. which, statistically speaking, means more people are going to get in this time than any other tournament. Surely he wouldn't break into a brigade lab without good reason. Are we on time? We still have two and a half minutes. Come good. Again. <laughs> well, regard, we're not very alert. <laughs> ha ha! What are you doing out this late? Oh no, you first. What's this about breaking into a lab? <laughs> yeah, why are you talking to yourself in the middle of the town <laughs> out loud? <laughs> yeah. Come on, Manu. You know you can trust me. It's Ziggy. He thinks the mutation was started by one of the brigade's alchemists. He's breaking in to find out for sure. I told him to come find us once he has the evidence. Kieran's not going to like this. And you? Ziggy's a weird guy. I don't know if I trust him. I know what you mean. I mean it's about the outbreak. Understating. I believe in this if he wants to fix it. Then I think she didn't follow it up with like, you don't know the half of it. I know, right? I've got to get back to my post. Good night, Blue Jay. What post? My thrash. I mean they're guards. He's probably watching an outpost. He's watching the guards. <laughs> Three days just casually pass? Yeah, wow, no joke. That sounds like Instructor Razzle, but she's not supposed to visit until my final match. Oh no, did she catch Ziggy? <laughs> Back to normal face. <laughs> it is interesting that it seems likely that the blight was caused by someone from the brigade. Seems likely or unlikely? I mean, following narrative tropes, it seems likely. Um, as as things are, there doesn't seem to be any clear justification as to why, other than like perhaps it being a contestant that is trying to get a one up on you know everyone else who doesn't know how to deal with it. Mm. Um, other than that, there's no. But the only person you can think of that would be Ziggy. Like he's well, seen... Ziggy or you know someone who is familiar with poisons or you know bad taste gems. But even that already kind of seems unlikely that it would be um, whatever her name is. 
Yeah, she doesn't seem capable enough. Yeah, exactly. Like, even by accident. Like, Ziggy does, but, like, Ziggy clearly isn't even in it for the tournament. He's, he just does not care about the tournament. Yeah, yeah. I like, mean, it'd be really funny if they were like, Ziggy, have you had any matches? You're like, I have one is you challenged me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? Ah. The, the important thing here, too, burgers. is that we had to... The only option to per, make progress was to challenge Ziggy, right? Like, I think... That part, yeah, but that doesn't actually count toward at the amount of victories we need in order to win. Right. It's it's just interesting as a narrative point that um, that, that was a funnel point, right, where it had to happen. Um, so no matter which direction you go in your choices, that was a piece of the narrative that had to happen. And it, it seems justified, too, based right. on what Ziggy did and, and what he told us. Um, and this is what, Chapter 4? Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Oh, maybe that's part of the question today. Maybe, like, what the the intention is as far as, like, what it's offering the narrative to funnel it at this point? Ye Unless you have a better way of wording that. What do you think that the... What do you think they're doing with the narrative to create an interesting and um I, I i don't know captivating uh a plot line hmm. because it's like uh, we're clearly invested and and i don't know there's there's a lot to it there's actually a lot of moving parts that have happened i made this point at the very beginning of, of our series hmm. where like they're like the very first line was like ugh, the food tasted horrible yesterday like very first line they were like you may not pay attention to it you may forget about this line later but this very first line immediately brings into the fact that there was a problem hmm. and so right from the get-go it's all been intentional it's all been there yeah that's fair so yeah i hmm. guess we'll probably word a little bit better but that's the idea anyway that's all we got cool thanks for watching we'll see you in the next episode bye